So in this video, I am going to configure dual boot with Windows 11 and Ubuntu. So this is the Windows 11 computer. So the size of the hard drive is one terabyte in size and it's Windows 11 Pro. This is the Ubuntu website and I'm going to be downloading and installing Ubuntu 24.04. So the size of this ISO file is 5.8 gigabytes. I'm going to be using Ventoy. I already created a bootable USB drive. You can also use Etcher and you can also use Rufus. I'm going to reboot this Windows computer. So this is the BIOS boot menu. I'm going to select the USB drive to boot up from. So I'm going to select the Ubuntu ISO file. Now here I have these options. I'm going to select the first option, boot in normal mode. And it says here, try or install Ubuntu. I'm going to select the first option. Try or install Ubuntu. So in the installation menu, I have to choose a language. I'm going to leave it as English. This is the accessibility. So you can configure all of these now or you can do this after installation. I'm going to leave it as is. Here you have to select your keyboard layout. Also, you can type here to test your keyboard. This is how you would like to connect to the internet. I have a wired connection in this desktop computer as well as Wi-Fi. I'm going to leave it as wired connection. So it says here, what do you want to do with Ubuntu? Install Ubuntu or try Ubuntu? I'm going to leave it as install Ubuntu. So it says here, how would you like to install Ubuntu? There's interactive installation, automated installation. So an interactive installation, these are for users who want to be guided step-by-step -step through the installation. I'm going to leave it at interactive installation. What apps would you like to install to start with? There's default and extended. So the default selection just gives the basic essentials, web browser and basic utilities. The extended gives more. There are office tools, utilities. So I'll select extended selection. So this is the installed recommended proprietary software. There are two options here. Install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. I'm going to check that box. And download and install support for additional media formats. I'm going to check that box. So it says here, how do you want to install Ubuntu? So there are three options here. Install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager. There's erase this and there's manual installation. So the first option is what I want. I want to install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager. So it's already selected. So here it says choose where to install Ubuntu. And here it gives you a slider bar where you can adjust the size of the partition. I'm just going to leave it midway. I'll click next. Now I have to create an account. I'm going to leave the computer name as is. I'll type a password. And there are two options. I require my password to log in. I'm going to leave that checked. I'm not using an active directory. I'll leave that unchecked. So this is the time zone. So it detected my location, which is New York. So to change the location, you can type it here or you can move the red dot locator. So yeah, you can review the choices. This is just a summary. I'll click install and it's installing. So installation is complete. I'm going to restart now. So 
So the computer was restarted and Ubuntu is the first option. There's also Windows here that I can select if I want to start up with Windows. And there's a countdown here. It's usually a 30 second countdown. And if I don't select a choice, it will automatically choose the first option. So it's going to boot up in Ubuntu. I'm going to log in. So this is the wired connection that I have, and I also have Wi-Fi connection. So I'll open the settings app. I'll change the wallpaper. I'll click on appearance. I'll select this wallpaper. I'll also change the theme to dark theme. I'll click on Ubuntu desktop and on the dark section. I'm going to place the dock at the bottom. Right now it's on the left side. So on position on screen, right now it's on the left. I'm going to click bottom. So the dock is at the bottom. So on panel mode, I'm going to turn it off. And this is how it shows. So I'll open file manager. I'm going to change the color of the folders. I'll right click the desktop and click on change background so this is the default color and this is how the folders look i'll change the colors here i'm going to open utilities i'll open the disk cap So now I'm going to reboot the computer into Windows. I'm going to select Windows to boot up from. I'll open the disk management. So this is a one terabyte hard drive, and these are the partitions. So this is the amount of space that Windows occupies out of the one terabyte hard drive. So I'm going to restart the computer again. So I want to thank you for watching, and I thank you for subscribing.